Evening all, on tonight's menu we've got Venus with a thick slab of Earth's atmosphere as the side dish. But we'll crack on and see what we can do with the Skywatch 150PL and the modified webcam I've been using because I'm on a budget. So here we have it all set up with the camera in the focuser, the webcam and it's plugged into a laptop and I'm running free to download SharpCap and this is to capture the, the basically a movie of Venus here as you can see it's just kind of on the edge of the, the frame there it's a very tiny sensor so I'm lucky to get it kind of anywhere in the sensor with this crude mount it doesn't doesn't seem to be tracking too well it seems to drift across the the, the field of view and then settle in that corner before it kind of catches and sort of starts to vaguely track. I need a better mount basically. Any haul. So what I've done is I've reduced the exposure to try and show the phase else it's just too bright and it's just disappearing off the frame now but I've got the exposure settings to 500 milliseconds with a gain of 62 and you can see that lovely kind of reddy orangey yellow colour and you can see that it's not perfectly round. You can see there is a phase there. Hopefully I can get some kind of footage to stack and show a bit better how the, the phase looks. As you can see on the diagram, Earth's outer orbit compared to Venus gives us a bit of a vantage point to be able to see these phases. So at the greatest point of elongation to the left and right of the image, you can see we can see both the illuminated side and the dark side. Yet, when, the, when Venus is behind the Sun, but not eclipsed by the Sun, we can see that the full disk of Venus is illuminated by the Sun, therefore we can see a full disk. And this is the reason why we can see the phases, which is good, because we can't see any surface features of Venus from Earth, because it's got a thick carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide atmosphere. I think it's like 93 times thicker than the Earth's atmosphere. So it just appears as kind of a yellow disk in the sky. And if it wasn't for the inner orbit, we wouldn't be able to see these phases, which gives us some interest to image and observe. So let's see what we can do with this webcam and see what we capture now. Here I've taken that AVI file of Venus and I've um, put it through a program called PIPP or PIP, which is free to download pre-processing software which effectively crops each frame and I believe it selects the best frames ready for stacking. So in a moment you'll see where I've then taken that and I've stacked the images using Registacks and hopefully if we zoom in now we should be able to see that we've uh, captured that phase of Venus. You can see to the right of the image it's kind of more oval shaped so it is showing a phase and you can see some effects of the Earth's atmosphere because this was captured very very low down just above the rooftops of the houses so you can see sort of red fringing from the effects of the Earth's atmosphere the diffraction of the Earth's atmosphere there but we have done it we've captured a phase of Venus using a very cheap supermarket webcam that I've modified and just popped in the focus of a telescope that's tracking Venus well kind of tracking Venus Anyway, thanks for watching and please subscribe and hit that bell notification if you want more content from me and I'll see you next time.